Hello, my name is Thane and I like to experiment with all kinds of AI technologies, and here are some of the latest developments about Midjourney. We again have had a few pieces of news from the last few days. The most recent is Midjourney's decision to stop rewarding free fast hours for ranking images that other people have generated. Up to this point, there was a way to get free hours by ranking images on Midjourney's website. And you got the reward if you were in the top 2,000 people in a day who ranked the most images. But it seems that some people have been taking advantage of the system and automating the ranking. It used to be possible to get to the 2,000 pretty easily, but I haven't been able to achieve that in recent months. So I guess some people have come up with a way to automate this, and Midjourney has detected it. Although, I think it's kind of strange that there was a poll about five hours before this announcement about this very thing. Did Midjourney really detect that people were taking advantage of this bonus? Or were the people who answered truthfully to the poll punished unjustly for being honest? The poll did show that around 50% of the people who answered mainly ranked the images to get free hours. I have to admit that even I would have answered it the same way, because it was a really good incentive to go and rank images. I sometimes did that for fun, but I guess most of the time with the intention to rank enough images to actually get the free fast hour. But does it mean that I have been taking advantage of the system? In my own opinion, whenever I ranked images, I really did select the image I liked more, but it can be feasible that some people did not even put in that effort. And obviously, if Midjourney has been collecting this information and it has just been random noise, then that is not very good. Let me know in the comments if you have ever ranked images and why did you do that. It is kind of sad that this is yet another nice feature that Midjourney has removed. The relaxed mode is still one of the really nice features why I still really like Midjourney, so let's hope they are not getting rid of that anytime soon. In other news we finally got the character reference feature. It works quite similarly to the style reference feature. So instead of dash dash s ref, you can do dash dash c ref. All you need is a link to an image that you want to use as a reference. So if you learn to use it well, it's a pretty good option to use in visual storytelling and have some continuity in it too. It seems to need some more playing around with to get it right. And it also seems to require more tries to get results that you want. Let's see together how it works both on Discord and on the Alpha website if you have that available for you. So first off, you need an image of a character that you would like to use as your constant. I selected this image as the character. You basically need just the first so-called upscale if you are on Discord. The one that doesn't actually upscale at all, but just separates the image from the grid. So it means that you don't have to go the extra step of doing a subtle or creative upscale on the image. But all you need is the link of the image and you can do that by copying it. I have just realized that the browser version of Discord is missing a few of the copy options from the menu. But now you proceed like you normally would and start writing a prompt. I would recommend some kind of a character in the prompt, because it tends to give some weird outcomes if you don't include that. In the end of your prompt, you now write dash dash c ref and paste your link that you just copied. There has been some issues with the Discord links lately. So here is a tip for you. Delete everything after dot png in the link and you should end up with a link that actually works when you do the character reference. I added the aspect ratio parameter after the CREF, but you can add any of the parameters in any order. Here, you can see the end result of this experiment. And side by side with the original character. It doesn't seem to be exactly the same looking character, but it is quite close. There's some weird stuff going on in a few of the images, but let's get to the details of that later on in this video. Let's take a quick look at how you do this on the Alpha website. There is a couple options to choose from, actually. So let's start with searching for the character reference in the image feed. You can see the Use Image and Style buttons down here. It doesn't matter which one you choose at this point, but select one of them. Now you can hover over the icon in the lower right corner of the selected image and you will see three options. First is the simplified depiction of a human, which is the one we need actually. The paperclip references the style or s-ref. And the simplified painting icon represents image, 
meaning image prompting. But then you just write your prompt. I wanted to test out the character weight parameter here as well with dash dash CW. It's the same on Discord as well. I set it to zero for this experiment. I actually had my chaos at 30 and stylize at 300 for this. I guess we kind of got a similar looking character, but it has kept only the face. And even that is just vaguely similar. Perhaps it is the chaos or stylized settings that kind of take it too far from the original. Let's try this again. The second option is to click the plus icon before the imagine bar. You can either upload your reference image or select it from among previously uploaded images. And I think this seems to remember the images that you have used with any kind of image prompt or as a reference via Discord. It doesn't really do that for the prompts where you have used images straight from the image feed. This time I thought I would try the dash dash CW value of 50. It should be retaining a bit more of the character, but free it up a little bit. And let's also throw in a style reference as well. Yes, you can mix and match the references as much as you want. Nothing is stopping you from using multiple character references and multiple style references and also multiple images as an image prompt at the same time. And the end result is this. I added this style and this character reference and got these images as a result. There are similarities there, but I guess my skills with character reference prompting need some more practice. Let's talk a little a bit what I think of this feature and what I have noticed so far. I do like this new feature, but there are a few annoying things I have noticed about it. First off, it is really easy to generate really ugly images when using this feature. Secondly, there really seems to be a tendency that Midjourney wants to generate people standing with their back towards the viewer. But the character reference wants to show the face. So you end up with really weird poses quite often where your character is standing with their back towards the viewer but their face is turned around in a really unnatural way. Thirdly, if you lessen the value of the character weight from 100, and your prompt doesn't specifically mention a character, then you get strange floating heads like this. Sometimes you don't even need to stray away from the character weight at all for it to do that. Also the mixing with style reference is also sometimes weird. The idea behind it is cool and all, but it's not as straightforward and easy to use, and it actually needs some tricks and messing around with to get to your desired result. But it may be that I have kind of been spoiled with getting so good results so often while not specifically trying to get those things as outcomes. All and all, it's a cool new feature that is a step in the right direction, and lots of people have been wishing for this for a long time. Is it really better and easier to use compared to the tricks that people had up their sleeves until now? I don't really know, it's certainly not yet totally consistent yet, but it's only the first version that Midjourney has released. Let's hope they improve this in the future. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think about this new feature. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel if you like this kind of content. I do try to stay up to date with the most recent developments, but I guess none of this is really news anymore to anyone who has been following Midjourney closely enough. Thank you for watching and let's continue prompting.